I'm John McBride at Technology Evangelist here at Citrix, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a new tool that we're making available called the Citrix Developer Visual Studio Extension. This is a, a new tool that we're making available. Uh, it's an extension for Visual Studio, and basically it allows uh, developers to get started more quickly using uh, the Citrix SDKs, provides a, a couple additional menu items for discoverability on our SDKs, um, and just in general, a bunch of quick starts that, that helps developers get up and running pretty quick. So with that, let's kind of jump into the to the demo. So here I have a, a blank Visual Studio uh, environment. What we're going to do is we're going to install the extension. The extension is available uh, in the Visual Studio gallery, and we'll put a link to the to the download um, in the video. But you can also get it by going to Tools, Extensions, and Updates, and then we can go online and we'll search over here for Citrix. You can see here it's Citrix Developer Visual Studio Extension. We can, if you do a download, it'll install. Uh, we'll say install and select the license agreement. We'll actually take you to our new developer.citrix.com site. And then we have to restart. Okay, so once we have the extension installed, we light up a few things in the IDE. Uh, the first one is we actually add a new menu item here. Uh, it's called Citrix Developer. And in here, uh, we have a, a several different items where, that are pertinent to the Citrix Developer. Uh, one is we have our main developer portal that you can go to. Uh, that's developer.citrix.com. Here is the kind of the one-stop shop where you guys can get all information on Citrix SDKs. Uh, we also uh, list our Citrix SDKs on NuGet. We're using NuGet more for distribution of our SDKs. Uh, we also have links to our additional uh, API developer centers, things like ShareFile, Podio, and the online online division. Uh, go to Meeting, go to Assist, etc. We also list our Citrix samples on GitHub, uh, a good place to always check out what's going on with some of our open source projects, um, and then send feedback uh, to Citrix. This is always important, so you can guys tell us what additional stuff you would like to see when it comes to the Citrix developer program or what additional SDKs, what ID integrations, et cetera, you guys are looking for. So in addition to that, we also add some new project and item templates um, based on some SDKs to help developers get up and running quickly with some of our SDKs. Uh, from there, we'll show you how to do that. So we can go file new project. And then you can see now we have a Citrix node in the new Visual C Sharp project system. Um, and under there, we list all the different products that we have SDKs for that we actually have quick start samples for. Uh, so in this particular example, you can see we have GoToMeeting, ShareFile, Storefront. We have a Zen Mobile sample and uh, some Windows apps based on the mobility SDK for Windows apps. Um, these are quick start, small little samples that I hope you go in with very particular pieces of the, of the SDK. They're meant for, for you to get your feet wet with Citrix SDKs and really understand how to do very specific things within the SDK. Um, that's it for this portion of the video. Um, we're going to post some additional videos that explain in detail how to get started with these individual SDKs, things like the GoToMeeting and ShareFile SDKs. Uh, we'll also post a link out to where you can download uh, this extension again if you go to tools extensions and updates from within Visual Studio you search for Citrix it'll show up there but we'll po we'll post an additional link to where the download is uh, you can also get it from the Visual Studio gallery too um, so that's it for this video we, we hope you appreciate it send us feedback on what you'd like to see different or what you'd like to see changed or what additional SDKs you'd like us to promote or highlight within a system like this um, and that's it thanks